What a world, it's your boy, stick around and I will show you the unboxing of my new dog bowl for my French Bulldogs and my English Bulldog. All right, world, as you can see, I'm back and my package was delivered and I'm about to unbox it and we're about to put this thing together. Got my little razor blade. Guys, if y'all are watching this video, be sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell so you can receive all of my upcoming videos. All right. I bought this off of Amazon for about 25 bucks. See how we look. So this came with two bowls. Put that to the side. Came with two bowls. These are obviously the little stoppers that you put at the bottom to stop it from moving. And these, well, did come with the directions, but who reads the directions? We might read the directions today, all right? Um, it also came with a mat. Uh, they did give me the cat one. That sucks because I did see people in the reviews say that um, they didn't have an option or a choice to pick whether it was gonna be cats or whether it would be dogs. So I did end up with the cats. And it sucks because I have dogs, all right? Um, but since it says available on both sides, I most definitely would just use this side of my mat. So we do have a mat, which is pretty cool. But most importantly, we got the bowl, right? So as you can see, really shouldn't be that hard to put together. Put these on the same side, cool. And I guess what we'll do is uh, so that is one level. This is actually the lowest level. So I have, at the moment, currently of shooting this video, I have two dogs, an English Bulldog, and I have a Frenchie. My English Bulldog, I already know now that I probably am going to invest into a, another one of these just so it can sit a little higher because my English Bulldog is much bigger than my Frenchie. But let's just say we'll put it on this one. You put these in there so as y'all can see you guys don't even need the instructions it's very easy to assemble and these are the levels all right we're gonna measure just to see the length okay so this is about 15 inches wide and it is about nine inches long tall i'm sorry and let's see, we wanna go ahead and let me wash these off right quick. So as you can see, very clean bowls, very nice bowls. Put one bowl there, put one bowl there. So this is originally where I feed my dogs. So we're just about to go ahead and just move all that right now. All right, so what I don't like is you can't actually pick the kitten or the dog, but the good thing is, you know, it goes under it so you really can't see anything anyway. Um, I still have the little sticky things, but I'm not gonna use them just of yet. I'm not gonna use them just of just yet. Um, it's kind of sturdy, but it's not. As y'all can see, it does move. So it's sturdy, 
but it is kind of loose a little bit. So, uh, oh. So actually, the more you so it's this. The more you, the better you put this in, <clears throat> the more sturdy it'll be. Okay. So it's a little less sturdy. It's a little more sturdier, and I'm about to. Try it out. I'm gonna put the food in here and I'm about to see how my dogs like it. Um, obviously, I won't be able to do the full test being that I just got one and I do have two dogs, but I still will show you how my dogs like it with just using this one. So stick around, I'll be right back. Another thing that I do like, um, I wouldn't use this bowl for two dogs, but it most definitely, as you can see, two puppies can most definitely make the best out of this bowl, but I wouldn't recommend it for two dogs. I would only recommend it for one dog and just let them kind of pretty much have their own water and their food. Another thing that I noticed, the angle of the bowl, Maybe it's not a 45 degree angle. Maybe it's a 15 degree angle and um, you couldn't fill it all the way up with water. So you probably want to put about half of water because the way that, you know, it's tilted over, it's basically like you're kind of tilting the bowl over. So what do I think about the um, dog bowl? 10 out of 10 already. Just look at how lined up it is with my English Bulldog. It all it almost fits perfect for my, I'm sorry, my Frenchie. It almost fits good for my English Bulldog. But like I said, I most definitely will get a bigger one for my English Bulldog. But Frenchies, um, Yorkies, Poodles, all of those, this is perfect. It's the perfect size, even if you have a cat I think this would be the perfect size for a cat as well. But as you can see, my Frenchie is most definitely liking it. Um, it's it's right, you know, to where my dog's head, you know, comes to. So it's most definitely a good investment. If you want your dogs to have their right structure, you know, you don't want to damage their posture. You don't want to, it's a lot of health um, issues that come with having bowls very low to the floor. So, as you can see, I'm most definitely happy about that. And my English Bulldog, she's so spoiled. She just wants love right now. She'll eat all her food later. She's very greedy, but she's also spoiled. So, uh, you know, she's pretty much just under me all the time. But that's it, you guys. I hope you like this video. Um, nothing really much more for me to share. What will I give this bowl from a scale of 1 to 10? I mean, I give it a 10. It, it's, it's doing what it do. So, nothing bad I can say. Easy. Putting it together. My dogs, as you can see, he is eating from the bowl. And uh, you can almost fit two dogs, you know, in one. So... Pretty good investment, you guys. 25 bucks. I will leave links in the description where I got this off Amazon. I'm not getting paid for any of these items. It's just something I want to share to all of my Frenchie lovers, Bulldog lovers, pet lovers. All right. Hope this video helped. One love. Peace.